We were following roughly 2,000 families here in Canada and of course collaborating in the United States and around the world on many different projects that have a genetic uh, part of the study. And here uh, in the families we see in our own clinics here at the Hospital for Sick Children, we are asked uh, three questions most commonly. The first is, what is the cause of the autism in my family? Why did this come about with my child? And the second is, um, what's the likelihood that my second child or my sister's child will be autistic and can we predict that early on? And the third is, interestingly, what can I do to help other families, including my own, of course, but also other families? Uh, and the best answer that we can give them right now is to enroll in our genetic studies because that's where we're starting to crack open some answers uh, to these important questions. So in roughly 20% um, of the families who are enrolled in our study now, we can give them some genetic explanation, uh, perhaps a gene or a syndrome that might explain why their child is on the spectrum. Uh, and then also using the new genetic tools, the, the answers are getting more um, uh, definitive, more specific, and also we're being able to explain answers to more and more families as we, we use the newest technologies.